Yes, we are playing Mario Kart 7 on the Wii U and controlling it with the Wii U gamepad. Let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to play 3DS games on your Wii U. So, uh, just get that out of here. First, you need to go to this GitHub page that I'll have linked in the description. Um, don't download the most recent version unless you have Aroma, but for this tutorial I am doing uh, Tiramisu, so we will download the .5 version which supports that. So go ahead and download this RPX file here. Alright, once you have your RPX file downloaded, I accidentally downloaded two here, so um, just take the one that doesn't have the one on it and drag it down into your Wii U's SD card over here. Go to the Wii U folder and then open the apps folder and just drag and drop it into apps. And now we can eject the Wii U SD card, but now we need to connect the 3DS, 3DS's internet to the computer. All right, so in your PC's network settings, go over to mobile hotspot, turn that on, and then scroll into here and view which devices are connected. All right, so once you have the uh, mobile hotspot turned on, you need to connect your 3DS to your computer's Wi-Fi in order to uh, view the view the IP address of your 3DS, because that will be needed for this process so all right so once your 3ds connects you should see an IP address right here right where it says IP address I'm not going to show it because I don't want to get hacked but also another thing you can do if, is if you don't want to um, use the computer as a Wi-Fi source you can go into your Rosalina menu on your 3ds by pressing L down and select and go into debugger options and hit enable debugger then you'll be able to see your IP address but sometimes, so the last time I tried this, the IP address of the Rosalina menu was not the same as the 3DS's IP. So if you want a more accurate IP, which you'll actually need the exact IP, um, then do it from your computer because it'll work better and you'll have a better internet connection. So the connection to the Wii U will be better. Alright, so that's everything we need to do on the PC, so we'll head on over to the Wii U. Alright, so once you're on your Wii U, you need to boot up your Mii Maker so you can access the homebrew browser or if you have the homebrew application on your Wii U itself then you just boot up that for me but for me I have the homebrew browser in the Me Maker so then we go over to this RPX file here that we downloaded load this one up and you should see the yes the, the IP bad IP it says so you press the left stick to get your IP which you got from the computer um, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this in real quick. All right, once your IP is entered in, uh, you can toggle between both screens or large screens. I prefer large screens because that'll let you have uh, the top screen on the TV and the bottom screen on the gamepad. Go ahead and press OK on that. All right, so once you have your 3DS's IP entered in, boot into the boot NTR selector on your 3DS and load into 3.6 there the default version all right so now I've gotten it to connect and yep here we are so audio does not get streamed between the devices if you want to do that you're gonna to have to plug in an audio jack thing into the 3ds's headphone jack and plug that into your computer but um, be sure to have your 3ds and your Wii U connected to the same internet um, I was having problems with it connecting for a little bit but I finally got it to connect um, with, by having them connected to the same internet source. Now, if you want to be able to control 3DS games with your um, Wii U gamepad, you're going to need to go down to the Rosalina menu by pressing L down and select on your 3DS. Go down to miscellaneous options and then click on start input redirection. And then that'll be okay. And now you can control it with your Wii U gamepad. And uh, let, let's get into some Mario Kart 7 here. Now, from what I've played, the performance actually is pretty smooth. Now, the the bottom screen um, doesn't run as at as high of a frame rate as the top screen, but um, yeah, it works pretty good. So we'll just get into a race here, and yeah. Now there are a few technical glitches, like the screen will sometimes freeze, frames will be skipped. And if you're playing like a new 3DS exclusive game, like Minecraft on the 3DS, or um, one of the other new 3DS exclusives, you will have a lower frame rate, but yeah, for all the regular old 3DS games, it works just fine. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe. And if you have any issues, if you run into anything, I'll be happy to answer any questions you have in the comments down below. 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.